Hey guys, if you are self-hosting or you're interested in self-hosting, you need to be using Oracle VMbox. Why? Because it allows you to run a virtual machine at will, be able to set up, set up the machine however you want it, and this can basically act as your sandbox server. You can do whatever you want with it and then just wipe it, delete it, and you're done with it. So it's basically creating a whole new computer within your computer. You can configure it and then leave that configuration as you like it, clone it, do whatever you want with it, delete that clone, clone it again, do something new, and delete that one. And it gives you the flexibility and ability to do kind of whatever you want to do uh, in this total sandbox server that you can then, you know, not worry about, uh, you know, messing up anything. So let me just take you quickly through the process. Just want to show you, you know, this is like absolutely what you should be doing um, even before you start buying some hardware. You know, if you have a computer, if you have a laptop, you should be able to run this and you should be able to, you know, get some reps in with having an actual server just within a virtual machine. So let's check it out. So this is the VirtualBox uh, user interface. Um, and you can see right off the bat how many machines I have in here. They're all turned off. So, you know, this isn't bogging down my system at all. Um, I can, you know, flip one on whenever I need to. I've got Ubuntu, I've got Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux Mint, Kali Linux. Fedora, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And then I have a bunch of Ubuntu clones that I have been using for tutorials. I have one running right now. And let me just go and let me power this, power this off so you can see if I go over here, I've got, here's the virtual machine, go in full screen and boom, you know, like now I'm in Ubuntu and I've got this whole virtual machine going on. This is basically my sandbox server that I'm using for doing uh, demos. So super cool, come in here, just you know, power it off and close out of it. And it's done, right? I can go to my, you know, I kind of have like my base configuration for each of these operating systems. And then I just go in and hit clone, boom, clone. I've got a new clone of that baseline configuration that I want. And that is basically how you get started with Oracle VM Box. I'm not going to go through a whole installation process of an OS. Just wanted to show you kind of what the user interface looks like and the capability of having so many virtual machines that you can, you know, do whatever you want with. If you want to learn more about how to utilize virtual machines, especially in terms of self-hosting, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.